Sports. We are Baltimore. We are San Diego. Last night, the Nationals took game one behind Max Scherzer, who had his eyes set on a complete game, but came up just a batter shy. Last week, Clayton Richard did go the distance, tossing his fourth complete game of his career. Can his success continue? Padres and Nationals next. We welcome you to the nation's capital where Ryan Schiff limbers up getting ready for today's game after homering in last night's game off Max Scherzer. It is game two of the three game series and Ryan Schiff is in the lineup. So is Ryan Zimmerman on the other side after taking last night off the Nationals first baseman in there on Star Wars Day here in Washington. We welcome you inside the broadcast booth, everybody. I'm Don Orsillo along with Mark Hitt. Welcome to Padres Baseball. Well, we'll see Steven Strasburg here today matched up against Clayton Richard, and Richard coming off a complete game effort. With the way both these pitchers tonight threw the last time out, it should be a pitcher's duel. So let's focus on Clayton Richard. He threw a five-hitter, nine-inning complete game. He had it working, the ground balls, the swing and misses, the pinpoint control. He'll go up and out of the zone by design. The complete game, nine innings, no walks and when Clayton Richard is on his game he gets a lot of congratulations all the way around here for the complete game not a better feeling than right there after throwing a CG down to Rosillo. now Steven Strasburg out there today after Max Scherzer's outing last night this guy strikes a lot of people out well the strikeout is the story now his 10th start this evening up there with him. You Darvish, Max Scherzer, and then Strasburg there. But the strikeouts are kind of down this year. They're wishy washy. He's had as many as 11 last time out. One outing this year, he only had two. But last time out was the big key. He went seven and two thirds against the Braves. He struck out 11. And once again, we might see an approach by these Padre hitters swinging early in the count like they did against Scherzer last night to avoid that strikeout. Well, the Padres took two out of three from the Mets. They dropped the first game of this series, looking to bounce back and trying to quiet the Nats' bats. First pitch from Nationals Park is next on Fox Sports San Diego.
Baseball, brought to you by Honda. Great deals are waiting for you now at your local Honda dealer. By Petco, your complete pet store with all the nutrition, supplies, and services you need. By Papa John's Pizza, better ingredients, better pizza. Papa John's, proud partner of the San Diego Padres. And by Buick. Back in the nation's capital and nationals park as it is cloud covered right now and it's time for the weather report brought to you by your always sunny San Diego Honda dealers 72 degrees northeast breeze at six miles per hour and mostly cloudy for the rest of the late afternoon early evening Don Orsillo Mark Grant and Michelle Margot with you for the middle game of this three game series between the Padres and the Nationals. Now the Padres dropping the first game of the series here is the Padres lineup. Brought to you by Toyota for Andy Green. He's got Alan Cordoba at the top of the order. And in left field, the Onherbis Solarte at first base. Ryan Schimpf at third. Hunter Renfro in right field with Corey Spangenberg at second base. It is Austin Hedges doing the catching with Eric Ibar at shortstop. Matt Caesar in center field bats eighth. And Clayton Richard, the pitcher, out of the ninth spot. And Steven Strasburg on the mound today for the Nationals. His 10th start. He's got the four seam of the curveball changeup and slider. The strikes up and down this year. Mentioned a little bit ago, he's had as many as 11 in a game. He's had as few as two. So let's see if the Padres, and he's always working from the stretch too these days. No windup. He's 86, the windup. A little different wrinkle for him in that regard. Mm -hmm. Keep it simple. As I mentioned, going deeper into games than he has in the past, at least six innings. Eight of the last nine outing for him as. Cordoba will take a pitch outside. Back to back games and Cordoba has led off. I wonder if we're going to see more of this with Manuel Margo now on the DL for the Padres. Opportunities knocking. 3 0 4, three homers, seven runs batted in. Shows bunt, pulls it back and takes ball two. Don, another nugget about Steven Strasburg. Since he's been going from the stretch position, a lot of pitchers, a lot of people think that you get more out of your delivery from the windup. His fastball is up a tick. 96, 97 on the heater. More push off? Or what is well, it you think? Well, when you look at the way he sets up, when he comes set, he's wide with his feet, and then he kind of rocks back a little bit. So he, I think he gets just as much push as if he would go from the windup position. He throws fastballs and sliders for strikes. And that's his strength. And uh, ineffective with the fastball when put in play, 305. Cordoba will send one into right field just over the outstretched glove of Defoe, the second baseman. And Cordoba on to begin things here in the first. There goes the no hitter. <laughs> what did we just talk about? The uh, ineffectiveness of the fastball, 97, he wanted it down and away. That one's up. Cordoba does a good job of fighting it off over Defoe's head. Yeah, 97 up and yeah. in. And able to turn on that and send it the other way. So board here to begin things in the first inning. Brings up Jan Hervis Solarte. Batting second in the Padres order. Playing at first base defensively. Will Myers getting the day off, or at least the beginning of the game off anyway. Solarte at 240, three homers and 24 runs batted in. And we talk about it in the pregame. Solarte been walking a little bit more lately, six times in the last four days. Third hardest to strike out in the National League and coming off a good series against the Mets in which he went five for ten. Strike call. Solarte didn't think so. Down 0 2. Got the call on that one. Strasburg coming in 5 and 1 with a 3.28 earned run average. Tenth start of the year for the tall right hander. Throw to first and back to the bag is Cordoba. City power and control from Strasburg over the course of his career.
Yeah, and bounces back from Tommy John surgery nicely. This kid, four times he's got a double digit wins in his big league career, two time All Star. And the Nationals, Don, thought so much of him. Why not tie him up for seven years? The seven year extension. The Nationals here at double play depth in the infield with nobody out. And Solarte grounds one softly to first. Zimmerman will go to second and get nobody. Pulled off. Turner covering the shortstop at second base, and everybody's going to be safe. So a chance there to get at the very least the lead runner. They end up getting nobody. And it's an error charge to the first baseman, Zimmerman, on the throw. That's a big break for San Diego. Not even close. Drawing the runner or drawing the uh, shortstop off the bag there. Was the umpire in line to the throw there? Did Zimmerman think that he was going to maybe throw it into the noggin of the umpire? Couldn't tell. No two on, nobody out. Now, good opportunity here to get to Strasburg early in this game. And Ryan Schimpf, who homered here last night, batting third. He slides up in the order with Will Myers on the bench. That's in there for strike one. Home run here last night for Schimpf, who's 12th of the year. Driven in 22. So Schimpf moves to the three spot, Renfro in the cleanup spot. And Padres trying to get to Strasburg early as Strasburg backs off and wants to see the signs again from Matt Wieters. Nationals with a win here last night. Seven and a half game lead over the Atlanta Braves who top the National League East. Let's go back to that play. I think the umpire kind of screened Zimmerman. Look at this throw. Look at it. He almost hits him. Yeah, absolutely. I don't know what you know you 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 catch the ball you turn you look and it's like oh my gosh you may have caught him off guard and that's what made him yank that throw. In there for a strike and yeah, it's one and two. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Good catch. He was very much in his because you know it was a force play and it, Zimmerman just has to play catch right just get it and throw it but and going from down there all of a sudden the umpires in your sights. And uh, he's lucky he didn't throw that ball into left center field. Two on, nobody out. And Schimpf waiting on a 1 2 pitch. No grounded foul. Boy, if the Padres can get on the board here, first inning off of Strasburg. Hit an error. Runners at first and second. Another one of those situations where if you don't get to him early, you may not get to him at all. Exactly. Finding that groove. We saw what happened with Scherzer last night. I mean, that's been uh, throughout his whole career with the Nationals. I've seen a lot of good pitchers struggle in the first inning for whatever reason. You know, that's that's puzzling. It's a conundrum. You talk to pitching coaches, you talk to pitchers. And, and you know, you would think that a guy who pitches as well as Steven Strasburg does here at home, he's used to the environs, he's used to the mound. You would think that he would cruise through the first inning here at his home digs. Full count here to Schimpf. 15 pitches already for Strasburg here in the first inning. Tenth start of the year for Strasburg is see Hunter Renfro waiting on deck. And that is strike three. Ship knew it takes with him the first strikeout for Steven Strasburg. That's the curveball. That's the old nose to toes. And it freezes. Even the left handed hitter from the right handed pitcher. That's perfectly placed by Strasburg. So one down, first and second, and Hunter Renfro standing in. He was the final out of last night's game. So he pinch hit after having the game off. 239 homers, 20 runs batted in for Renfro. 50th game that he has been in on the year. It's Hardy on the 96 mile an hour fastball. 
Well, according to all the people here in Washington, talking to the radio guys, the TV guys, Steven Strasburg has become more of a bulldog out there. I mean, he's taking charge. It's not letting the little things worry him. That is season last year cut short with the flexor mass strain in his right elbow. Swing and a miss on a pitch headed down and away. 0 and 2. You know, Don, you bring up a good point because uh, Steven Strasburg, you know, he's been on the DL seven times in his career already. And here's another curveball there. Boy, getting on top. Nice, easy delivery and good spin rate. Good action on that number two. Two on, one away, and an 0 2 pitch coming up here to run pro. Fights it off foul to the right out of play. Let's take a look at the keys to the game brought to you by your San Diego Honda dealers. Stress Strasburg early. Well, we're right in the middle of it. Hopefully the Padres can score. And early outs for Richard. This is a tough lineup for the Washington Nationals. We saw that last night. Even when they didn't have Daniel Murphy and Ryan Zimmerman in the lineup. Here's a ground ball softly at towards third. Rendon on the run goes to first for the out. But the runners move along. Cordoba to third base. Solarte to second with now two down. Let's check out the Nationals defensively. Left to right across the outfield. Jason Worth in left. We had Michael Taylor in center field. Bryce Harper in right. Third to first. Anthony Rendon. We just saw make that play. Trey Turner at short. Wilmer Defoe at second with Ryan Zimmerman back of the lineup and at first base with Matt Wieters doing the catching and Steven Strasburg on the mound as rain falling here very lightly in Washington. Let a tarp on for a while before the game and the precipitation has returned here at the moment. Corey Spangenberg will take ball one. Battle of the Bergs here. 242, a home run, eight runs batted in. And a start at second base with Solarte sliding over to first. Two and oh. One Berg with an E, one Berg with a U. Who's going to win this battle? A hit could possibly score two. Key situation for the Padres' second baseman. Cordoba third, Solarte at second, two down, rain falling. Spangenberg will take ball three. High heat at 96. The forecast had a chance of showers here pretty much all day, off again, on again. And Chance has come to fruition right now. 3 0 pitch. And that's ball four. Spangenberg down to first base on a four pitch walk. First walk allowed by Strasburg. That loads him up here with two down in the first inning. Gives Austin Hedges a chance to do some damage. And Chris Spire, the acting manager here for the weekend with. Dusty Baker at his son's graduation in Sacramento, California. The Nationals will be headed to play the Giants next, so it works out all right for yeah. Dusty. He'll just stay out there and rejoin the team on Monday. Pitch in there for strike one. Austin at 211, eight homers and 21 runs batted in. A lot of curveballs. Oh, it drops in for strike two. Bases filled with Padres. Two down here in the first inning. Hedges swings and foul tips into the catcher's mid for strike three. Padres leave them loaded. The Nationals are coming up.
like it a lot. Swing and a miss, and now he gets him. Back-to-back -back strikeouts for Richard. Blake Richard is hitting his spots this afternoon. In time, what a play. Go to second, it's a complete game for Clayton Richard. Well, it was impressive, and the Padres enjoyed that day. I'm trying to make it maybe two appearances in a row in which he goes the distance. We are scoreless to the bottom of the first inning, and Richard is on the mound here today on a rainy day. Chris Spire, the acting manager for the Nationals, who have a lineup that has Trey Turner at the top. He is at shortstop with Jason Worth in left. Bryce Harper in right. Ryan Zimmerman at first base. Anthony Rendon at third with Matt Wieters doing the catching. Michael Taylor in center. Wilmer Defoe at second. And Steven Strasburg out of the ninth spot. Well, Trey Turner got a couple of hits in last night's game, including a leadoff home run. It's a 244 with five homers and 23 runs batted in. Clayton Richard making his 11th start of the year for the Padres. Oh, the scout report for Clayton Richard. Here's what I like when he throws strikes early because then he can expand the zone down late. You either get a swing and a grounder or a swing and a miss and continue the trend. Continue the trend of the complete game that he threw last time out. Now Turner goes chasing and the first batter that Richard faces, he strikes out. And he struck him out on the changeup. You know, we talk about the two seamer, the breaking ball. How about breaking up the changeup early and Trey Turner reaching and cannot come up with it. Off the plate there, good pitch, expanding the strike zone there. One down brings up Jason Worth. Worth, the left fielder. He'll take strike one, a 275 hitter. Seven homers, 16 runs driven in so far in the year for Worth. That Trent outfielder, patient at bats, usually sees a lot of pitches when he's up there. Back first among active players in career pitches seen, usually 4.4 a game. Yeah. Finds himself down here, one and two though. Hey, Chewie's in the house. Star Wars day here in Washington. Chewbacca looks like he's taking a little nap. Worth a crank it foul down the right field line out of play. I wonder if Chewbacca is a fan of Jason Worth. He's got the same Jason type. Worth is a fan of Chewbacca. It could work both ways. Yep. Up at two and two. Last 16 games worth hitting at 317. And a grounder towards shortstop. By bar coming in. And in plenty of time. Throws out worth two down here in the inning. Check out the Padres defensively, brought to you by Lincoln. Left to right of the outfield, Cordoba and left, Caesar in center. Renfro in right, a shift to third, Ibar at short. Spangenberg at second, Solarte playing at first with Myers getting the game off. And Austin Hedges doing the catching for Clayton Richard. So two down here in the first inning brings up Bryce Harper. 340 average to start the day. 15 homers and 40 runs batted in. I was surprised he wasn't walked last night late. Let to pitch to him and he took him out of the yard. Two run yeah. shot, big play in the game. And once again, that's what's great about baseball. You get 10 people in a room, you get 12 different opinions. You talk about different strategies and what you would like to see uh, being done. But hey, I learned a long time ago. From my good friend Bob Chandler, who used to do Padre radio games, TV games, he told me two initials, MC, which stands for Manager's Choice. And that's what Andy Green elected to do. Well, Richard falling behind here, two and one. I mean, you and I 
we argue about stuff all the time regarding baseball and what we think, right? Mm -hmm. Sure. Good baseball arguments. Harper fouls it off down by the shoe tops, and this was a blast, no doubt. His 15th home run of the year, and up into the top deck here at Nationals Park. That was a 3 2 slider that uh, just didn't get to where Kirby Yates wanted it. Two two and it's fouled off. We'll do it again. They had Zimmerman off in last night's game back in there. So a little more protection around Bryce Harper than he had last night with Worth hitting in front of him and Zimmerman hitting behind him. Uh, two two. And that's outside ball three. Richard able to strike out Turner. Got Worth to ground out now battling Bryce Harper here in the first inning. Fastball away. Shift on and to the back and goes shift off balance throw and it is not in time. Harper beats it out in field hit. Well, you know there's uh, there's players out there that can perform with the bat with the glove. You win MVPs and. You put up eye popping numbers, but what's eye popping to me is not only for your teammates, but the fans and to show everybody what you're about. Bryce Harper legging that one out, busting his tail down the line there for the infield hit. That was just good old fashioned baseball hustle right there. In there for strike one to. Ryan Zimmerman back in there today hitting a 362. Difference between this year and last year through the first 45 games. A lot more hits. The average is up, slugging percentage up, home runs. Center fielder Matt Caesar over towards right center, big gap out of the left center. Zimmerman can definitely go in that direction at times too. They're playing for him to go the other way. Throw to first and back to the bag is Harper. Remember last year for Zimmerman had two stints on the 15 day DL because of that left rib cage strain. And a left wrist wrist contusion. So playing hurt resulted in those numbers. Throw oh. over and this time. Oh, I don't know. Wow, that was close. Looked like the throw beat him. Maybe the tag did. He was going the other way. Yes, he was. And he did get back. Closer that time though. Two outs. Harper with a short lead at first. This one squib foul. You know, we all know that Jan Herbert Slarte is not a first baseman. And there are certain things to learn as we take a look at the last three seasons by Ryan Zimmerman. Games played it on the DL. I mean, last year was a big reason because of those numbers being down. First baseman will learn to let the ball travel a little bit more. You know, Jan Harris, you know, goes out and gets the ball and then brings it back. Well, the ball's going to travel faster than you catching it and then bringing the glove. That's just something over the course of time you have to learn as a first baseman. And then, of course, being left handed, you know, the, the glove's on that side of the bag. So you learn to let that ball travel, catch it, and then let the momentum of the glove apply the tag. Now, as a right hander, you got to go across your body exactly. to make the tag, too. Exactly. So it all took too long. In essence, yeah. There's a ground ball softly hit down the third baseline. Shin to let it roll, and it's a fair ball. It's all he could do because he wasn't going to get Zimmerman. Back to back infield hits here for the Nationals with two outs in the inning. 
That's exactly right. Nothing Ryan Schiff can do. If he fields that baseball, he's going to beat it out. So why not just let it go and hopefully have it roll foul? Not the case. So Washington making some two out noise here in the first inning. And you know, as a pitcher, you look at the two hits, infield hit and that little dribble. You have to stay in your mind thinking that, you know what, I can't do anything different. I make a pitch here. Get a ground ball, and now there's a force at any base. Two on, two down. Anthony Rendon. Open stance from the right side. <laughs> 284 average coming in. Nine homers and 32 runs batted in. Comeback player of the year last year in the National League. After he he returned from an injury plague 2015. That's a strike, and it's one and one. Since the All Star break of last year, he's had 84 RBIs. Ranks fifth in Major League Baseball, third in the National League in that category. Really good with two outs and runners in scoring position. He's just not missing anything right now, Rendon. To short, Ibar flips to second for the force out that gets Richard out of the jam. Two are stranded by the Nationals, scoreless after one. And well, Margot hit the 10 day disabled list with a right calf strain. In correspondence, the Padres have recalled Franchi Cordero from AAA El Paso. And Cordero said that when he walked into the clubhouse yesterday, he looked at the lineups and he wasn't in the lineup and he got a little nervous. He was like, well, this is kind of weird. And then that's when Rod Barajas, the AAA manager, called him in and said, hey, you're going to the big league. So, pretty special time for him. And the reason he is not in tonight's game is because he had a pretty hectic travel day per Andy Green. Guys? All right, thanks very much, Michelle. As we play along here to the second inning and the rain has intensified here in between innings and a lot of the fans are headed for cover now. I don't think the hard stuff's going to come for quite a while so <laughs> I'd keep playing. Bottom third of the order Eric Ibar leading it off and taking a pitch over the inside corner for a strike one and one. Andy Green did mention as we take a look at Franchi that he will be in the lineup tomorrow and he will be patrolling center field. So welcome to the big leagues. Certainly saw a lot of them during spring training. Yes. High bar Caesar and Richard scheduled to bat here in the second inning. 46th game for Ibar. Ground ball towards short. Trey Turner plays a tough hop and it played him. 
reaching at first is Ibar. Now he backed off that ball a little bit, and the hop kind of played him. That'll be an error charge to Trey Turner. Well, the Padres had a benefit of an error in the first inning. Didn't make it hurt. This one, big time. Can't find the handle. Trey Turner had it in the heel of the glove, and it looked like on the transfer. Now, whether that rock was wet or it was just plain old couldn't find the handle, got to make it hurt. Second miscue of the day for the Nationals, not helping Strasburg. And here is Matt Caesar. And check on Ibar. First held on by Zimmerman. Remember the inning the Padres had in the first? Base hit, fielder's choice, error, whatever. That might have been an inning last year where Steven Strasburg, he might have imploded a little bit. But he buckled down. He walked Spangenberg and then struck out Hedges big time with the bases loaded. Now Padres leaving him loaded and took Strasburg 27 pitches to get through that first inning. Caesar's numbers between the Cubs and the Padres. Getting the start at center field with Manuel Margot on the DL. That situation changed quite a bit quickly. At first, didn't think it was going to be a very big deal. A little bit of a calf problem mm -hmm. for Margot. Next thing you know, he's in a walking boot and now today on the DL. So, so you can see him walking around. He really kind of struggling. Gingerly. Yeah. In fact, when he came back after that play, he was going back yep. to the dugout. One one. And yeah, that does grab the outside corner. Looking towards the bottom of the order. Caesar batting now. Clayton Richard, the pitcher, waiting on deck. As Caesar strikes out third K for Strasburg. Well, the day after the Padres score five or more runs, get 50% off any regular menu price online order at PapaJohns.com. Enter promo code Padres5. One out, one on, and Clayton Richard coming up. Pretty good at the plate. Four for 17 this year for the Padres. 235 average, does have an RBI. And looking at the outfield, Michael Taylor's playing on the shallow side in center. He can split a gap. Richard offered at that a bunt bid for strike one. If he doesn't bunt, and you get a, a fat pitch to swing at. Get the feeling this is going to be a Dodger raindrops type day here, yeah. on again, off again, all day. It's lightened up significantly in the last couple of minutes after pretty hard rain. Yeah, just enough to make it uncomfortable, right? Yes. A rain like this when you're out there playing. An out runner at first base. Gets a bunt down, but it will go foul. Pitches already for Strasburg to an inning and a third. Not a bad idea to try to get into the Nationals pen. It's not been good. Richard will pull it back this time. And it seems you're doing yourself a favor if you get into their pen. It's the one area that they have not been very good in. And believe me, we talked about it last night. Mike Rizzo, the general manager of the Nationals, they will make a move. They want to get somebody to shore up that bullpen to get to that closer. 
For the first and back is Ibar. Saw the closer last night, Coda Glover. Came in to get the strikeout of Renfro to end the ball game. And the foul bid on the bunt. That's strike three. So that's the fourth strikeout for Strasburg. Two down here in the second as Richard did not get it down. Two away. I barred first and back up top now for Cordoba. Singled in the first, the only Padres hit so far. Had a few guys on, a couple of errors, and a walk have helped that cause out, but so far no runs. Runner goes, Cordoba takes pitch outside, throw down to second, won't be in time. Stole a base for Ibar. Took a pretty good pitch to go on, too. High leg kick. That's the one thing about Strasburg. He's a big kid, and does he get the hand in there? Never caught it. High bar in scoring position now. As Cordoba takes ball two, two and zero. Oh. Cordoba singled his first time up. Four game hitting streak now. Getting a chance to play on an everyday basis. Moving around. We saw him in center last night, left field today. And a grounder left side. Rendon makes a good throw and retires Cordoba. Padres are gone. Inning and a half done. No score from Washington. No score as we get ready for the bottom of the second inning. It's time now for the San Diego fans of the game. Man, a throwback jersey there as well as last year's hat. We've seen a lot of Friar Faithful here at Nationals Park enjoying the nation's capital. Well, Bob Weeders leading it off here in the bottom of the second inning. Weeders, Taylor, and Defoe scheduled to bat in the inning. Through 25 first inning pitches and worked his way around a two on two out situation to get Rendon to ground out and end the inning. Leaders, of course, a longtime Baltimore Oriole moving here to the Nationals and running this down the left field line foul. One of the taller catchers you'll see, he's kind of out of the Carlton Fisk 
area. That's a good call. Yeah. And I, I always like throwing to a big catcher. I would think so. Larger target, right? One guy that comes to mind, Mark Parent, one of my good friends. We were teammates with the San Diego Padres, and you talk about a big dude. Give you a big target. I love that. And six, seven, and eight scheduled here to face Richard in the bottom of the second inning. He's a 20 home run guy, right? Every year? Yes. Pretty much. There's a pop up. Richard going after, but so is Hedges. The catcher will take charge. A little stagger, but he makes the catch. In fact, falling down to one knee to make that grab. That's a home run in a phone booth. One out in the second. It's time now for the Arco top tier player profile. We'll check out. Ground balls induced by Clayton Richard. He is second in that category, only behind Toronto Blue Jays' Marcus Stroman. Nova has made kind of a comeback in his career with the Pirates this year. 114 for Clayton Richard. He has really made that release point second nature. You know, when he wants to work down, he works down. When he misses, he misses down below, but he goes up by design. We've talked about that. You get two strikes after going down, 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 bang. Up around the letters with the fastball, you get the swing and miss. Ground ball headed towards third. Schimpf was in at the lip of the grass, so he'll get it there in plenty of time to retire Taylor. And there are two outs here in the second inning. So two up, two down, and Wilmer Depot coming up. Richard could use an economical inning in terms of pitches thrown after a 25 pitch first inning. Foe batting out of the eighth spot, second baseman for the Nationals. And a grounder towards short. Ibar coming in. And speaking of induced ground balls, that'll work. The last two of that inning, a one, two, three inning, scoreless after two. Capital as we get ready for the top of the third inning here. We get the sad news today just prior to the ball game that Jim Bunning passed away today. 1931 through 2017. Yeah, very sad. U.S. Senator from the uh, the state of Kentucky, a Hall of Famer and author of a no hitter. Very sad. Guy could pitch and uh, service to his country in the U.S. Senate. Sad day. On this Memorial Day weekend in Washington as we play along to the third inning. Two, three, four, Solarte, Schimpf, and Renfro to bat of the inning. 
Is he a Philly his entire career? You know, I, I would have to look that up. I most know him as a Philly. And um, talk about it. <laughs> you know, this day and age, we talk about competitors. This guy was a stud. I mean, he, when he was on the mound, he was, he competed big time. Actually started with the Detroit Tigers, 58 through 63, and then was with Philadelphia, 64 to 71. Sarte ahead here, two and one. A lot of pitches for Strasburg too. This will be pitch 47 of his outing. Now back two and two. Harris rounding into a fielder's choice first time up. Mentioned the no hitter that uh, Jim Budding had in Detroit. Perfect game. Phillies versus the Mets in 1964. Yeah. That is strike three and Solarte strikes out. That's five K's for Strasburg. Well, we saw the curveball early from Strasburg. We know he's been having some difficulty with the fastball, but that one pinpoint two seamer. It's got two seam run to it. Probably a four seamer. Just a little bit to the end there. Inner third for the strike. So one down. Ryan Schimpf coming up here. He was a strikeout victim in his own right in the first inning. Strasburg, first round pick, first overall, 2009. This one foul back into the seats. Never had a 20 win season. His highest win total in any season is 15. Did that in 2012 and again last year. 15 and 4 last year, 3.60 ERA and 24 starts. You mentioned the long term deal, a seven year contract extension. They'll keep him here through 2023. That is some security. Yeah, that will do wonders for a guy between the years. Howled on to the left this time by Ryan Chim. You know, I can't speak for guys like Steven Strasburg or other players that have like a year to year contract, but. You know there are guys out there that, that think about it too much and say oh I'm only on a one year contract right and then they get the multi year deal two things can happen one is oh my gosh the pressure to live up to that contract then you just are terrible or it's the other way where hey you know what now I know I belong it's finally come to fruition I could be myself I'm here for a long time now it's really going to steamroll into something special Ryan Shim striking out for the second time. Six K's for Strasburg and now four K's in the last two innings. Yeah, not that it wasn't anything not special for Strasburg earlier. I mean, he, you know, he came out with some great hype and he lived up to that hype. Four times he's won in double digits in his career. And two down here in the inning and Hunter Renfro. Renfro grounded out to third base in the first inning, 0 for 1. It's pretty hard to live up to the hype, and he did. Mm -hmm. Not easy to do. Breaking ball in there for a strike, one and one. And I remember the late great Tony Gwynn talking about Stephen when he was an Aztec and how he turned it around and like he dedicated his his baseball career to, to getting better and getting in great shape. Former Aztec, Steven Strasburg. Born in San Diego, graduated from West Hills High in 2006, went on to San Diego State, went on to pitch for Team USA, Beijing Summer Olympics. He 
Stevens up at two and two to Renfro. Stands at six foot five, two hundred and thirty five pounds. That's a keeper. Full count now. Just walked one that came in the first inning. Damn rainy day today at the nation, the nation's capital. Rain on again, off again. Hey, off pitch. And squib foul off the end of the bat. To Renfro batting here with two down, bases empty, scoreless contest. Only one hit so far for the Padres, Alan Cordoba, in the first inning. 3 2 again. And a foul again, off to the right. RBI Baseball 2017 returns with fast paced, pick up and play MLB action pack with all your favorite MLB teams, players, ballparks, and much, much more. Get RBI Baseball today for Xbox One, PlayStation 4, and mobile devices. Learn more at rbigame.com. Swing and a miss. Fastball running in at 97. Strasburg strikes out the side. Scoreless after two and a half. I think he's uh, obviously a, a mentor that people look up to and, and people look forward to playing behind him and uh, kind of replicating what he does. That was Hunter Renfro on the leadership role that Clayton Richard has played this season. And keep in mind, he doesn't just lead by example. On opening day, he put the Dr. Seuss book, Oh, the Places You'll Go, in every single teammate's locker with an inscription for each teammate. And, of course, earlier this season, he got pajamas for everyone for a red-eye flight. So he's really just trying to bring this team together, guys. All right, Michelle, thanks very much. Yeah, he really does seem like, I don't want to say anoint him the captain or anything, right. but he does seem like the leader of this team, at least in my estimation around, you know, we're around these guys quite a bit. I would have no problem giving him the unofficial title of being the captain, and I know in sports. So you agree with me then? I do agree with you. This one is in the center field. Steven Strasburg has got himself a base hit. Crowd loves it. Leads off the bottom of the third inning. You know, there are some people that will argue in the game of baseball a pitcher cannot be a captain. I disagree. As we take a look at Steven Strasburg, and it's a perfect example. He gets a base hit up the middle. He's a pitcher. He's one of the best athletes on the field. Just like Clayton Richard is. 
Hey John Franco was a captain for the Mets. Ron Guidry was a captain for the Yankees. A pitcher can be a captain. Five for 15 is Turner in the last four games has been hot although Richard struck him out in the first inning. Another one argument you will get from position players is that hey, he's not out there every day with us. Right. I mean, that's one thing that you've heard from time to time over the years. Okay, well then if you're a position player, you step up and be the captain, Cha Cha. <laughs> I'm just saying. No, I know. I have, you know, Calm down. No, I know. I'm just <laughs> I'm, I'm just <laughs> it's on the ground to third, but foul. I'm just playing the devil's advocate. Here's the thing, I'm not a position player. I'm a play by play guy. <laughs> So I don't care. But I'm just saying. This is one of those baseball discussions we were talking yes. about earlier, right? Yeah. That's what's great about the game. Mm -hmm. Trevor Hoffman to me, he was a captain. Sure. You could have slapped a C on his chest. To me and my time around Pedro Martinez, he was a captain yeah. as far as I'm concerned. For the first stand, back to the bag is Strasburg. I mean, to me, he was a great captain. Yes. A guy who was not afraid to say something to somebody. But also lead by example. Yes. As teammates backs all the time. Mm -hmm. And I think even though Clayton didn't take many snaps under center in Michigan, I think having that experience at a Big Ten college. Oh yeah. For the Wolverines, that to me is is being a leader and being a somewhat of a captain, being in that position. Get you ready for the big stage. That's yeah. for sure. This pitch here is popped up. Spangenberg right around second base. And he'll make the catch. He'll stagger there at the end, but Turner retire. It's time now for the tools of the trade brought to you by Ram Trucks. Well, since we're on the subject of uh, Clayton Richard, the left hander for the Padres, how about Brandon Drury? His uh, nine inning complete game shutout. Fastball, the change up, the fastball. The thing is, he works down, down, down. There's the slider off the plate. And then by design, he will go up with the fastball after going soft, maybe in and out. A fastball here or there, up the ladder for the strikeout. One out, one on, and Jason Worth. Oh, for one, he grounded out to shortstop in the first inning. And he is second look at Clayton Richard. You know, we've got the Nissan Fox tracks working. We'll have to keep an eye on how he goes about Jason Worth. Now you see that Fox tracks you see the sections right the quadrants there the three on top three in the middle three in the bottom look at the, the second pitch caught the bottom part and in and that one's just off Ooh, thank you very much got a call there it's got to be tic tac toe board good call yeah now are you pitching the quadrants in your mind when you were pitching I'm just throwing the glove. I'm trusting my catcher. This is lined to left. Could have been going back, and it's going to be off the wall. Hard liner off the bat of Jason Worth. He'll go to second and second and third with one out. Never got all that far off the ground. But a bullet off the wall in left field. That ball was hit hard. And that looks like a middle end quadrant. Mid thigh high, turned on it. This ball got out in a hurry. And you know, thank goodness, Cordoba, he plays that ball well because if that gets away from him, there's a chance that Steven Strasburg, he could score. So one out, second and third, and a problem here. You got Bryce Harper standing in. I ask you this do you walk him this early in the game with first base open well you got the left hander Richard I would say it wouldn't be a bad idea let's see what he throws in the first two pitches I think that will tell us a lot how he's going to go about him it wasn't that bad of a pitch just missed inside I don't think he's going to give much a hit here it's kind of pitch around it yeah Strasburg at third, Worth at second with one down. I want to talk about the intentional walks to some of the game's bigger names. I've seen that discussion about Mike Trout. Saw it for years with Barry Bonds, and you're kind of getting to that area with mm -hmm. Bryce Harper. Absolutely. Where you got to pick your poison here, though. You got Harper now, Zimmerman next. What do you want? 
Uh, you know, I would say walk him. Don't give him anything to get hit, okay? Get the 2 0, maybe walk him, but Zimmerman. Zimmerman's grounded to seven double plays this year. That's one way of looking at it. He leads the team in that category. Harper may get froggy. He swung at that pitch, which was a ball, to try to drive in those two runs. So I guess you kind of work around him, hope he gets himself out. Yep. Don't throw him a strike. If he swings at it, hey, that's a benefit to you. Line and picked it first by Solarte. He's coming home, and the throw will be late. In at third is Strasburg, and a nice slide there by the Nationals pitcher coming in. One nothing Nationals. Oh, what a pick by Solarte and from his hip pockets, tried to throw the runner out at the plate. That was one heck of a play by Ned Harvest Solarte first base. This ball is smoked. You know, I'm wondering why he didn't go to Clayton Richard at first base covering. It's not a force play. It would have to be a great throw from the seat of his pants. Clayton Richard was over there in time. He was covering. And you know, this early in the game, I think you got to be sure to get an out. Fielder's choice, RBI on the play for Harper. First and third, Nationals have a one-nothing lead. And here is Ryan Zimmerman We're trying to induce that double play ball. That would be the ideal scenario here. Three hundred three homers, twenty three runs batted in this year with runners in scoring position. Got Worth at third, Harper at first. Run already in. Out of his shoes on that cut, one and one. See now I think the Nationals they have a chance for a big inning right rather than getting a for sure out at first base. Let's take another look as we take a look at Salarte he goes to his right. Clayton Richards on the move he's there. Well a couple things I think first of all is a reactionary type play by Salarte because he got it so quickly. And second of all you got that pitcher running at third base maybe mm -hmm. he thought he could get him. Sure. Throw was not terrible from his backside either. This is a one hopper to second. Spangenberg to second for one. On to first for two. Double play. Now the national score, but Clayton Richard induces that all important DP.
At the end of that inning, the double play ended the inning, and I'm not sure what it is. Maybe the play at second base, he took exception to, and it would have been uh, Bryce Harper going into second base. I'm not sure if he tried to take uh, out the shortstop eye bar or not, but Andy Green was pretty animated. We'll see here. I think the Nationals are contesting that test second base were never was never touched. Ooh, I that think could Chris be too. Yeah. yeah. Because there's no interference there at all. No, I don't think he made contact with the bag, and I think Chris Spire wants the challenge. The force, well, he never touched the bag. No, right up over it. Yeah. And now I don't know how much time because we went to break. I don't know how much time Chris Spire, how much time it took for him to look at that and then indicate to the umpires where he say, "Hey, I want to challenge that," and I think that's what Andy was upset at. Not happy here. It's taking a while as they review this play. Terry Lane, the crew chief. And they're going to stay with the call. It's an out. So double play is the double play. And nothing changes there. You know what? He never touched the bag. Nope. Jerry Lane is uh, indicating with his foot that he did touch the bag. Unless so Spire right now down there on the field. Spire shaking his head. Unless some way, shape, or form, they know that one of his cleats on the bottom of his shoe touched it. I tell you what, that I don't is know. close. <laughs> That's close. Well, the Padres will take it. Turn the double play. Four to six to three. That ends the third. And we get ready for inning number four to be Spandenberg, Hedges, and Ibar. Hey, Steven Strasburg, he scored the game's only run. Here in the nation's capital for Memorial Day weekend. Don, remember earlier I was talking about Strasburg and he. Is going from the stretch position all the time. Yep. See his wide set. See how far apart his legs are when he comes set. Yes. But yet he lifts that leg back towards the rubber to where he gets enough energy and inertia and push to go towards home plate. Okay, he comes set right there. Now he'll lift. He'll go back over the rubber. Now he's, he's kind of slide stepped right there. But the velocity is the same, even up a tick on Miles Brower. So I mean, he's big and strong and. He's getting the most out of his delivery, even from the stretch position. And he's got seven strikeouts through the first three innings. 61 pitches deep into his outing. You got Cordy Spangenberg, Austin Hedges, and Eric Ibar coming up. Spangenberg walked in the first inning. The only walk allowed by Strasburg so far. Spangenberg hedges Ibar. It's now six in a row retired by Strasburg, and five of the last six have been by way of the K. Fouled back by Spangenberg, going two. Strike three call. Eight strikeouts for Strasburg. One down here in the fourth inning. Austin Hedges coming up. He struck out his first time. And we'll take a look at the pitches he saw. First pitch was the knee buckling curveball. How about the second pitch? Why not throw it again? 0 and 2. Little slider up and out of the zone. Hedges chasing. Has to protect. So we saw the old number two and the number three from Steven Strasburg. One down and. Hedges will take the breaking ball running away. 
eight strikeouts through three and a third innings for Strasburg. Popped up, shallow center. Defoe, the second baseman, Turner, the shortstop. It's Defoe. He'll make the catch two down. It's now eight in a row, retired by Strasburg. Close captioning for today's game is brought to you by Wiener Schnitzel. Dirt. Two down here in the fourth inning, and it brings up Eric Ibar. I had to wait for that. I didn't want to get in the way. Ibar reached on an error committed by the shortstop Trey Turner in the second inning. You know what else I've noticed about Steven Strasburg? When he got into trouble sometimes, he would go side to side with his delivery. He is straight up and straight downhill coming at you. Call it lock and load or no? That's a good way of putting it. Why not? Six foot five frame. Definitely pitching downhill. Yes. This one fought off foul by Ibar. Yeah. Sometimes pitchers get side to side. What I mean by that is they'll do this. Right? Strasburg. He's locked here and he's coming here and bam coming right at you. None of this stuff here. So not two thirds. He's coming over yeah. the top. Is what his you're whole body, his whole thing look thinking downhill. That's outside. And it's one and two. Mixed in and change up. Hey, stay tuned. We got a game break coming up. Cleveland. Kansas City. Fouled off the facing of the Nationals dugout. Screened in area. Mets are at Pittsburgh later tonight, and uh, the Cardinals are in Colorado. National League action. And on the West Coast, the Braves are uh, visiting the Giants. That's later this afternoon. A one two. A bit high to eye bar. Two and two. It's been raining on again, off again right now. Precipitation free. Strike three call, nine strikeouts for Strasburg, who's retired nine in a row. One nothing Nationals.
All right, Mike and Mark, thanks very much. It's into the bottom of the fourth inning we go. It's a tight one, well pitched. Richard and Strasburg and Richard on the hill right now. Anthony Rendon in the batter's box and he will take ball one. Richard get a big double play to get out of any further trouble in the third. Nationals did get a run in the inning. It's five game hitting streak coming in for the Nationals third baseman. And a strike from Richard. On the corner, and Rendon didn't like it. A big strikeout day so far for Richard. 1K through the first three innings. He's all about the ground ball out. Absolutely. If you throw two or three pitches per batter, get quickly in and out of there. He's got six ground ball outs in his outing. And a looper to left field. That is going to fall and in for a base hit. Sounded like a broken bat. And Dillon aboard with a base hit to begin this bottom of the fourth inning. This guy's unbelievable. I know his first at bat this afternoon and grounded into a fielder's choice to end the inning, but he is not missing mistakes. Even when he takes a bad hack, he breaks his bat, but yet finds some way to get on base. Runner on here for the Nationals. And his second time in the game, first time they scored that runner. That was in the third inning. We'll see what happens here in the fourth. Matt Weeders went around, kind of changed his mind in the middle. Howled out in the second inning. Down 0 2. Good change up right there by Clayton Richard. Hey, big kid, he likes the fastball. Why not pull the string? Top it, get a ground ball, and a good double play candidate in Weeders. Doesn't run that well. 6 5 himself, 230 pounds. Talk about Strasburg being a big guy, so is Weeders. Well, it fouled off to the right out of play. Leaders breaking into the big leagues in 2009 with the Baltimore Orioles. In eight seasons with the O's. And we're talking about his home runs. He did have three straight seasons of 20 or more home runs, but he's not had 20 home runs in a season since 2013. But he's had a lot of injuries too over the last few years. And going back to the bag. Four time All Star, two time Gold Glove Award winner. O2. Peters fights it off foul again. Did you see the hesitation there right there by Clayton? Yeah. Did you classify that as the Flamingo? No question. Swing and a miss, and Weeder strikes out. Second K for Richard. One down here in the fourth inning. Hey, going up the ladder with the heat is Clayton Richard. We talked about it before. Working down, 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 going up. You've got to go down to go up. And a couple of bad hacks by Weeder's that had bad as well. One out, Rendon still at first base, and Michael Taylor, the batter. Miller grounding out to third baseman Ryan Schimp in the second inning. Line to left field, a base hit. Cordova over to cover it. Rendon will stop at second. First and second now with one down. Second hit of the inning for the Nationals.
Well, the good thing here is that uh, for Clayton Richard, the Washington Nationals are playing station to station here. First and second, the double play in order. We know we have a double play ground ball pitcher out there with one out. That brings up Wilmer Defoe. Rounded out to shortstop first time up. Signed with the Nationals at the age of 18. He's an undrafted free agent. Let's see, three years now with the Nationals. Spent most of the year last year at Double A Harrisburg. Heard four games for him. In the air down the right field line red pro headed over towards the seats but he will not have a play down there runs out of our sight line down that right field corner not sure what happened you know there's about nine square feet of sight line we can't see and that ball just happened to be hit right there we can pretty much see the whole field there's the flash look there's the warning track and hit into the stands and then back down on the playing field. There's a ground ball towards second base. Slowly hits. Bansberg's only going to have one play. It's at first. And he makes it to retire Defoe. Not hit hard enough to try the double play. So Rendon to third. Taylor to second. Yeah, now two down. Yeah. The pitcher, Steven Strasburg. Single run scored for Strasburg so far. Only run of this game. He came last inning and now help out his own cause right here. One forty three average. Home run and an RBI. Falling behind 2 and 0. Swing and a miss that time. Fastball by him. Two strikeouts for Richard through three and two thirds innings. Sitting at 70 pitches right now in his outing. Rendon at third, Taylor at second, two down here. And that is strike two. You can't shut your toolbox here just because the pitcher on. You gotta make some good pitches. You've got some work to do. Strike three call. Strasburg knew it. Takes with him the third K for Richard. He gets out of a jam. It's one nothing. Nationals through four.
Welcome this afternoon, the curveball. He gets up on top, good momentum towards home plate, good spin rate. And when you look at this, what's the one thing that sticks out? I mean, these aren't all strikeouts. He doesn't have four strikeouts called. There was not one offer at that curveball. All the curveballs we just showed you were takes. It's got a sharp break. It just doesn't. It just doesn't uh, float up there. Is what I'm trying to say. It's a power curveball. It's and there, tight. There, what's that? It's tight. Absolutely. And as you see today, the 73 pitches, 27 curveballs, almost even with the fastball at 33. It's on here at inning number five. Nationals holding on to a one nothing advantage. Thank you for helping me with that. Uh, no problem. That's what I'm here That's for. That's an adjective, right? Sure. Floating adjective. Yeah. Caesar after the first pitch pops it up down the right field line and that'll get into the seats. Well, floating's a verb, isn't it? Yeah, because it's an action. Right, right, right. I don't know because it's the description. I don't really know. You're asking the wrong guy. You know what? After a third thought, I think it's an <laughs> adverb. Okay. Swing and a miss for Caesar down 0 2. I do have one school story regarding that. Okay. In English, our teacher said, okay, what's a noun? Person, place, or thing. Right, not much I know. Now the teacher said, What's a pronoun? And my best buddy sitting next to me he goes, You know what he said? It's a noun that made it to the big time. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty good answer. That's not bad. <laughs> Had the chance to meet uh, Matt Caesar's mom and dad today. So they're here at the Ball game rooting on their son Matt. You know, gave it away. Mr. Caesar walks in the elevator with a Padre hat and a Villanova polo shirt on. <laughs> I said, You're Mr. Caesar, aren't you? He goes, yes, I am. Did you yell out, Hail Caesar? <laughs> <laughs> the one, two. And a half hard swing there. Struck him out. That's 10 strikeouts for Strasburg. Tomorrow on Fox, the Monster Energy Cup Series heats up under the lights in Charlotte for the longest race of the season. It's the Coca Cola 600 at 2.30 Pacific on Fox. Ten strikeouts for Strasburg in this outing. 32nd career game with 10 or more. Tired the last 10 in a row. And this one foul down the right field line into the seats. Well, it seems like uh, it is up across Major League Baseball. Ten plus strikeout games. I think Chris Sale, who just reeled off a string, what eight in a row. That's five years. April and May. The guys are throwing harder. The breaking balls are tighter, more explosive. I mean, that's that's one of the reasons I think you could. Sure, there are other reasons. Strike three call back to back K's. Richard down by way of the K. 11 strikeouts now to Strasburg. Now, back of the first inning, Alan Cordoba, first hitter of the game, got a base hit off Strasburg, and that is the only hit the Padres have today. Coming up for the third time here with two outs in the fifth inning. All back to the screen for strike one. Up right side. Zimmerman, the first baseman, calling 
And catching out number three. 12 in a row retired by Strasburg halfway through. Nationals lead it 1 0. Back at Nationals Park in our nation's capital is getting it off here for the Nationals top of their order Trey Turner. Jason Worth and Bryce Harper scheduled to bat in the inning. Wait Richard back out there. And a liner into left center field for a base hit. Cordoba cuts it off. Turner on with a leadoff hit here in the fifth inning. Third straight inning. The Nationals have had the lead runner on. Even though he was out in front of this pitch, it was a breaking ball from Clayton Richard. Up in the zone, enabling him to elevate that ball to the outfield. If that's down, it's a grounder. Good looking player. First pitch offering, breaking ball, outer half. Kept his hands back just enough to pull that ball to the left side. First hit of the game for Turner. Jason Worth now the batter. Worth has grounded out and last time up doubled off the wall in left field. Nationals are out hitting the Padres right now, seven to one. Pitch 75 coming up here for Clayton Richard. Throw to first and back oh. is Turner and that was close. He almost got his feet tied up there. Right. Going over again, diving back this time. Not taking any chances is Trey Turner. Runner goes and the throw a little bit off the mark, but Salarte quickly down to second and Worth is out at second base, or Turner, I should say, is out at second base. That throw was a little bit high, and Salarte did not grab it initially right away. A little bobble there in his glove, but he's able to get it in time to second base, and Turner is picked off here. Hot stealing. Yeah, and you know what? Turner does the right thing. I've always felt that a move like that, especially if you have some speed. Make the first baseman make that throw because if you're in line, he's got to throw to either one side or the other side of the runner. He throws it up your back, it works to your advantage. Good quick release, good job on the tag. And a big out for San Diego. One down, two and oh. 
And that will be a strike over the outside corner. Worth didn't think so. Richard falling behind here, three and one. Bases now empty. Worth now, but then you get into some real trouble. Harper and Zimmerman to follow. Toughest part of the order here for the Nationals. And that's ball four. That's a strike. Just the first walk of the day allowed by Clayton Richard. Comes with one down here in the fifth inning. I think Clayton Richard got squeezed right there. Clayton's got to forget about that. Make good pitch here to Bryce Harper. Bryce Harper, one for two. Infield hit in the first. Grounder to a fielder's choice in the third. With a 340 average. 15 home runs. Hit one here last night. Big two run shot. Up into the upper deck. Has 40 RBIs. For the first and worth getting back to the bag. A little trouble staying on the bag. You talk about averages throughout Major League Baseball. Harper. Six with that 340 average. Justin Turner 379. Ryan Zimmerman 362 here in Washington. I think he went. He'll check. No, says Roberto Ortiz, third base umpire. Start. Sound like me. I know. I, th I thought he may have went too. That's oh my gosh! If he did, <laughs> by a lot. He most certainly <laughs> went. Yes. See what I mean? I thought he went and we're on the 26th floor of this building. <laughs> now a liner foul. I'll tell you what, they go more often than not. And now ranks this year for Bryce Harper. I think average at 340, slugging percentage, 685. First in home runs with 15. You know it all boils down to Bryce's back, right? Absolutely. This is the Bryce Harper of 2015 MVP. Worth back to the bag again. Still can be pitched to, though. Let's not forget about that. Padres in a shift on the right side right now on Bryce Harper. Fastball away. Up. He chased. So Harper strikes out. 92 mile an hour fastball up. Gets him. Fourth strikeout for Richard. He did that. Two that, down. That is exactly where Austin Hedges wanted that pitch. It might be even up a little more from the target. No, actually, he threaded the needle. Perfect pitch, perfect situation, up and away. You know, it looks like Harper kind of leans a little bit. Is it pull mode a little bit, right, with that swing and that follow through? So that's a perfect pitch to get him swing and miss there. Two down, Ryan Zimmerman. He singled in the first, bounced into a 4 6 3 double play in the third. Seven ground ball outs through four and two thirds innings for Clayton Richard. Pitch 85 of his outing. And it's line foul, one and one. <laughs> Is 
Seven ground outs, two flyouts, and four K's just struck out Bryce Harper. Now jumps ahead of Ryan Zimmerman, one and two. Run seven hits, two errors for the Nationals in this game. No runs, only one hit, and no errors for the Padres. Go to first, and again, worth back to the bag. Line to center field, that's going to get in. Up to second base goes Worth on the base hit by Zimmerman. First and second now with two down in the Nationals' fifth inning. Well, as I mentioned a bit ago, Ryan Zimmerman, second in the National League and hitting at 362, right? And when you're hitting 362 and things are going your way, you get hits like this. Shattered Shillelagh off the end of the bat, out in front for the single. When things aren't going your way, it's right to the shortstop. So two on, two down. Anthony Rendon. Open stance from the right side. Moved into a fielder's choice in the first. Single to left field in the fourth inning. 438 in this spot. Two and zero. Three and Four and two thirds inning for Clayton Richards so far in this outing. All behind three and zero. Well, you know there is a base open, that being third base, right? Just a thought. There's a strike three and one. And Matt Weeder is waiting on deck. At second, Zimmerman at first. Runners are going, and noticing was Richard. So, Schiffel run back worth, and the tag out by Spangenberg. So, they ran into two outs in this inning. Caught stealing uh, Turner, now caught stealing of Worth. 1 0 Nationals.
only run of this game. One run in this game. A couple of strikeouts for Strasburg, pitching very well. Ground ball to first base. Solarte from his hip pocket throws to the plate. It's late. And then a big double play. Turned by the Padres and induced by Clayton Richard. Strasburg has scored the only run of this game. And what has been a pitcher's duel here so far today into the sixth inning we go. And the first five, Strasburg with 11 strikeouts, four for Richard. Eight hits allowed by Clayton Richard, but only the one run, none by Strasburg. And here is John Harris Solarte to lead it off in the sixth inning. Well, Strasburg, he's uh, he's got that number two working. He showed you that a little bit ago, throwing it for strikes with regularity. He starts off Solarte with a curveball for strike one. To left center field, and that ball is going to get down. A base hit for Jan Herbis Solarte. The second time he's on, first hit of the day for him. And a leadoff hit to begin things here in the sixth inning. Looks like he got a fastball. He wanted to bury it in, and once again, that bad location, 95 up, and just on top of it enough to where he doesn't work underneath it for the easy fly ball. Out of the reach for Worth. Taylor can't get to it. We got action. The lead runner on, and it brings up Ryan Schimpf, who has struck out twice today. And he takes strike one. One's looking, one's swinging. Two of the 11 strikeouts for Strasburg. 11 Ks in five innings. Had 11 Ks his last outing against the Atlanta Braves, Steven Strasburg did. Hold off 0 and 2. Only run of this game scored in the third inning. Last of. The eye for Bryce Harper on fielder's choice. Strasburg scoring himself and the Nationals have a 1 0 lead here in the top of the sixth inning. 0 2 to Schimpf. Swing and a miss, and he struck out for the third time today. They get 12 strikeouts for Steven Strasburg. Well, I think now it's getting to the point where Strasburg, with his 12 strikeouts, hitters may be thinking curveball. They get the fastball, they try to catch up. It looks like a strike. This is a fastball, top of the zone. And just when you think you might get the hammer, you get the bullet, and it's by you. One out, Solarte at first base, and Hunter Renfro 0 for 2. And he's grounded out to third base and struck out swinging. And last night off until last batter of the game as he pinch hit in last night's game. The Rays were threatening with the bases loaded, but he was 0 for 1 in the game last night. And Back in the starting lineup again today. So only missed one game all year. This is game 51 of the year. 50th appearance of the season. But an everyday guy, and so far today on the bench for the Padres, missing his first game of the year is Will Myers. Getting a break. That manager Andy Green said before the game, Will just needs a day to sit back and breathe a little bit. Road trip has been a grind for him, like all these San Diego Padre players. A day baseball here tomorrow in the finale of the series and of the road trip. That day baseball in San Diego on Monday. Two balls, two strikes to Hunter Renfro. One out, Solarte in first base. Good news is the pitch count getting up there for Strasburg. Next pitch will be his 93rd of his outing. And you know, the home run for Strasburg has been non existent. He's only given up four home runs this year, this being his 10th start. 
Renfro lines it to left field and that's going to get in for a hit worth over quickly to play it up to second base goes Solarte and the second hit of this inning for the Padres belongs to Hunter Renfro. Once again the fastball remember the fastball to Solarte that may have been a change up. That was 87. So the change up up doesn't do a lot of action like down in the zone. And Renfro crushes that one. That ball was hit very hard. Two on one away. Corey Spangenberg standing in. And he will follow it back to the screen for strike one. Getting started second base today. Solarte at first. Solarte standing at second right now. Renfro at first. Runners on with one away in the sixth inning. And there's strike two. Is being out hit in this game, eight to three, but it put together two hits in this inning. Not had a hit since the first inning. Swing and a miss, and Spangenberg strikes out. Thirteen strikeouts for Steven Strasburg. Two down here in the sixth inning. We move with the Yacker again, the old number two. The strikeout total from Max Scherzer last night who had 13 K's. He looks very comfortable throwing that pitch, throwing it any time ahead and to put away. Austin Hedges, 0 4 2. And he takes strike one. Struck out in the first, popped out of second base in the fourth inning. He has struck out everybody in the order at least once, with the exception of Alan Cordoba. Eight swing and fouled off. Oh, Quick, and two. Yeah, quickly head with the curveball and the slider. We just saw the slider there. Remember the other at bat we went over? Austin Hedges to strike it. It was curveball, curveball, slider. This one is curveball, slider. What will he throw here? 0 oh, 2. He might try to elevate the fastball. Mike Scherzer 13 K's last night. Strasburg looking for his 14th right here with two down in the sixth inning. Too far away. So Arte single to begin the inning. Schimpf struck out. Renfro single to left. And Spangenberg struck out. Now one two to Austin Hedges. He strikes out and that's 14 strikeouts for Strasburg. Strikes out the side in the sixth inning. It's one nothing Nationals after five and a half.
Nissan. Last of the sixth inning as the Nationals are holding on to a one nothing advantage. Their starting pitcher Steven Strasburg. 14 strikeouts in six innings. Play along here to the bottom of the sixth. Anthony Rendon going to lead it off here for the Nationals. 92 pitches so far for Clinton Richard. Rendon, Weeders, and Taylor featured in the inning. In the air, down the right field line, headed foul. Don't has grounded into a fielder's choice and single. One for two so far in the day. Clayton Richard coming into this game, three and five, with a 4.31 earned run average. His 11th start of the year, and for Richard, coming right off his. Complete game win. Fly ball down the left field line. Cordoba running on a slant towards the line into foul ground, and he won't have a play. Ends up coming onto the field. It's the fans foul for that ball. Hey, Captain Obvious is here. Is so funny. <laughs> I've not seen him before. You've never seen him? Oh, he's a regular? Yeah, he was here last year. <laughs> Captain Obvious, huh? <laughs> does he have other signs besides that? Yes, he does. It? Oh, okay. He comes with a bunch? Yep. Don't fouls it off. Here's Apparently a sign this was earlier. earlier. <laughs> 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 yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> oh, that's great. I didn't know he was here. He's great. Oh, I'm glad to see Captain Obvious. That's great. There's a fly ball to left. Cordoba on the run towards the corner. Lays it out, can't get it. Little rattle around, but it's a foul ball. Foul ball landing in foul ground, fortunately, for the Padres. Wow, Cordoba laying it out, but it lands foul. Make sure he's all right down there on the diving bid. So it lands fair apparently down there. Definitely is he in contact with it too. It is glove. Umpire threw his arms up, indicating that it did not go out of bounds and into the stands. So rather than a foul ball, it is a fair ball and a double to start this inning for Rendon. Once again, right don't see that area where the yellow lines are when the ball bounced up, it didn't bounce beyond those yellow lines, so the umpire was indicating still ball in play. It's tough to tell down there. A lot going on. You know, the pitch gonna mess here to Matt Weeders, third plate appearance against Clayton Richard. What a great effort by Cordoba, though. Yeah, it was. Laid it fully out down yes. there in the left field corner. Appears to be okay, thankfully. Swing at a foul tip. Padres have double barreled action in their pen. Torres and Quackenbush both up. Up. 
On the ground to short. High bar to the backhand. Looks to run her backhand. Makes the throw. Good stretch there. By Solarte kept the foot on the bag. And Weeders retired 6 to 3. No advance for Rendon, who remains in second base. It's time now for the unlimited baseball break brought to you by T Mobile. Holiday with a two run home run. And a two Yankees hits and a 3 2 win for the Yankees against the Athletics. Dallas Keuchel expected to be activated from the DL tonight against the Orioles. He's 7 0 on the year. And the Rockies 16 8 record in May entering tonight's game against the Cardinals. Best 50 game start in team history with 32 wins. Great start for the Rockies, playing much better baseball this year than last, and have a game lead over the Diamondbacks to start today's play in the National League West. They've won nine of their last 12 games, outscoring their opponents by 40 runs, the Rockies have. Their starters are 9 and 1 over that 12 game stretch. That's that's impressive. Especially with the bullpen they have, it's yes. very good. Racking up some saves there for them. He's got 19 saves on the year. In the air, down the right field line foul. I'll tell you what, 20 saves before June 1st. That's pretty good. That's really good. He's got a few more days to do it. Last 13 games for the Rockies. Charlie Blackman's only hitting 456. Go with a walking lead off second, one down. One two to Taylor. Fouled off down the right field line out of play. Singling his last time up to left field. Of nine Nationals hits in the game. Fly ball struck well to center field. Caesar going back, looking up, and that ball is gone. Two run home run for Michael Taylor, his fourth of the year. The Nationals jump on top, three to nothing. Tells you something about the offense of this Washington Nationals team. First, the pitch, 91 down the middle, mislocation. Taylor crushes a mistake, and when you've got hitters in this lineup like Turner, Worth, Harper, Zimmerman, Rendon, who's just swinging everything, and get results. When you have the number seven hitter like that, hit a two-run shot, bottom of the order. That's you know things are going well for the Nationals. A two run shot for Taylor. Wilmer Defoe now trying to bunt his way on. Offered at it for a strike. Third plate appearance here for Defoe against Clayton Richard. Strasburg has come out on deck. The true spot scheduled next. On the ground to first, Salarte's got it. He'll take it himself to the bag for the second out here in the sixth inning. This Memorial Day weekend, Fox Sports Sports is proud to team up with Homes for Our Troops, building mortgage free, specially adapted homes nationwide for severely injured post 9 11 veterans. Learn more about new homes and how they work for our troops and enabling them. Our veterans to rebuild their lives and visit Fox Sports Supports.com for more information. Two down, and here is Steven Strasburg fouling a pitch off to the right out of play. Single to center in the third, score the Nationals' first run. And they have added two more here in this inning.
Lindelof again, one and two. Double got it all started for Anthony Rendon. Readers grounded out the two run home run by Michael Taylor. Swing and a miss by Strasburg, and that will end the inning. But the damage done. Two run shot by Taylor. Nationals have a 3 0 lead through six. Baseball brought to you by your San Diego County Lexus dealer who invites you to test drive a Lexus today. By Evans Tire and Service Centers, home of the buy two, get two. And by Sequan Casino, play, win together in the heart of San Diego. Back in the nation's capital, home of the Washington Nationals who enjoy a 3 0 lead in the seventh inning. Their starter. Steven Strasburg, 14 strikeouts through the first six innings. Even 100 pitches. Ties a career high for the 14 Ks at this point. Third time in his career he's done it. The first time since September of 2015 against the Philadelphia Phillies. And Don, he has thrown as many as 119 pitches. That was back on May 5th at Philadelphia. His last start against the Braves, he threw 118 pitches. This will be pitch 101 on his day, and it's Eric Ibar who's bunting at it, fouling it off. As he starts this inning, there is action in the pen. Bar has reached on an error and struck out looking. So 0 for 2 today. Hits it on the ground to first baseman Ryan Zimmerman, who will tag the bag. One out here in the seventh inning. Donnie, you mentioned double barrel action in that Nationals bullpen. Blake Trinan and Oliver Perez. Righty lefty combo, and for the Padres. Former national Craig Stammen. Oliver Perez, a former Padre, yes. Yes. One out of the inning, and Matt Caesar, the batter. Fly ball headed to right field. And look out here. It'll be the center fielder, Taylor, cutting in front of Harper. Making the catch out there, two down on the seventh. Look, they're going to collide there for a moment. Now Frenchy Cordero coming up here for the Padres to pinch hit with two down in the seventh inning. Just called up from Triple A El Paso today. 
As Mike Maddox, a pitching coach out there to talk to Strasburg. Richie Cordero, we saw a lot in spring training, signed as a minor league free agent. Getting into the year listed as the 23rd prospect of the Padres system. MLBpipeline.com. 484 career minor league games for him. First plate appearance, his major league debut right here. Talk about Padres on deck. He was in the minor leagues, but he was literally on deck here in the big leagues. So welcome to the big leagues. Franchi Cordero. Swing and a miss for strike one. How about that? Your first big league at bat at Steven Strasburg, you get a face. Oh, and he's throwing the ball extremely well. And you know who he reminds me of in the biter's box? Exactly. It just occurred to me. Look at his stance. Gregor Polanco from the, the Buccos. Big tall kid. Picks up the outside corner one and two. Well, I'm sure he hasn't seen curveballs like that in the minor leagues. Down one and two with two down here in the seventh inning. Strikes out. That's 15 Ks for Strasburg. A new career high. Receiving Strasburg. Three nothing National. Brought to you by Petco, your complete pet store with all the nutrition, supplies, and services you need. By Jack in the Box, come try the new sweet or spicy barbecue bacon cheeseburger and chicken sandwich for a limited time only. And by Nissan. Choose Nissan today for great offers on our most exciting lineup. Shop at ChooseNissan.com. Three to nothing. The Nationals have the lead over the Padres into the bottom of the seventh inning. Trey Turner leading it off here for the Nationals. That's the new Padres pitchers. This pitching change is brought to you by El Cajon Ford and the former National Craig Stammen in. Yeah, it was a uh, warm and fuzzy feeling for Craig when he walked out of the dugout for the first time as a Padre here at Nationals Park. Came up through the Nationals chain and had some good memories, he said. Made his major league debut here. So now he's wearing a Friar uniform trying to mow down these Nationals, keep it 3-0. Takes over for Clayton Richard who went the first six innings. Richard currently on the hook. Six innings, ten hits. Three runs, walked the batter, struck out five. Trey 
Turner one for three in the ball game today. What's it like for you returning to a mound you were comfortable with? Well, I've did it many times. I did it with the Padres against the Giants. I did it against the Braves against the Padres. And you know what? You get that feeling. Yes, you're used to it. You get used to the surroundings, and and, set, and and most of all, I think you want to prove to the team that traded you away that hey, there's a little incentive there. I think that's only natural for anybody. But you can't overthrow. You can't try to do too much because then that's when things can backfire on you. Full count now to the leadoff hitter Trey Turner. Swing and a miss, and Stammen strikes out Turner for the first down of the bottom of the seventh inning. Richard had five games while he was in there today. Stammen strikes out the first batter he faces. It looks like the slider or curveball from Stammen, perfectly located, starts in the zone, ends up out of the zone, and brings Turner to his knee. One out in the seventh for Jason Worth. Grounded out in the first, doubled in the third, and then walked in the fifth inning. So been aboard twice today. Stammen has been the long reliever for the Padres in the last two times we've seen him. He's gone three and a third innings. And has now pitched at least three innings or more in four of his last six appearances. So generally, when he comes in, the game is out of hand at times, and he needs to log some innings, and he's done a great job of doing that. You know, Andy Green has been very appreciative of the effort that he's gotten from Stammen in those tight spots. And Craig Stam is going to be the first guy to step up to Andy Green and said, Hey, if you need some innings, I'll be your guy, no question about it. Realizes his role. Grounded a short and eye bar. Two down here in the seventh inning. Remember Clayton Richard against Bryce Harper, lefty on lefty. He started him off fastball and then breaking balls away, okay? Then he goes up and away with the fastball. It goes along the lines we were talking earlier. Soft stuff down, hard stuff down, and then going up and away, almost out of the zone. Because with the way Bryce Harper swings, it seems like everything's like he's kind of leaning that way on his follow through. Hey, give him left field. If he puts the ball in play, it's a fly ball to left. Two down here in the seventh, and here is Bryce Harper. On the ground to third base. Schimpf. Bad throw. Knocked down by Solarte, but he came off the bag to knock it down. And Bryce Harper's aboard with two down. Well, that one hurts because it should have been a one, two, three inning for Craig Stammen. And uh, you extend the inning to another guy who has been swinging the bat well in Ryan Zimmerman. Like he threw off the wrong foot there a little bit. Error charge to Shim. Comes with two outs here in the seventh and gives Ryan Zimmerman a chance. Two for three day, two singles for Zimmerman. He has also bounced into a double play.
And was able to strike out Turner, get Worth to ground out, and got Harper to ground out, but the miscue on the throw allows the inning to continue. Popped up foul, off to the right out of play. Time now for the mini countryman player profile. Craig Stammen, the former national coming back here, drafted in the 12th round, 2005, the MLB draft by the Nationals. And appeared in 229 career games for Washington. So very comfortable here, no doubt about it. And as he said, felt uh, very comfortable coming back here, warm feeling for him returning. Yeah, and the uh, the former flyer, now a fryer, is a very good egg. Pitched at the University of Dayton. All time strikeout leader. Craig Stanley. In the air to right field, run pro. Back pedaling onto the edge of the dirt of the track will make the catch that ends the inning. We have played seven full and the Nationals enjoy a 3 nothing lead. All right, Mike and Mark, thanks very much. As it is into this game, Matt Albers, after seven innings of Steven Strasburg. Albers' 19th appearance of the year, and good to get into that bullpen for the Nationals. Hey, hey, hey. It's Matt Albers. Nah, 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 gonna have a good time. Now for Strasburg, seven innings, three hits, no runs. He walked one. And struck out 15. A career high for Steven Strasburg. He had it working today. Yes, he did. Early on, didn't have the best location with the fastball. Flipped up some curveballs. Very effective. Threw in some changeups as well. There were some innings there where it could have gone either way, like the different Steven Strasburg that we saw in the past. Maybe let it get to him, but not the case. He put a lid on it quickly when there was any sort of trouble. For the right hander. 
Albers has been well traveled, came up with Houston, time in Baltimore, Boston, Arizona, Cleveland, Houston, <laughs> Chicago for the last two years, and now a Washington National. Cordoba with a big cut and evens it two and two. Well, Albers throws a four seamer. Mostly sinkers though at 93 ish. Curveball and a slider. Swing and a miss. Strike shot Cordoba. That is 16 strikeouts for Nationals pitching. Towards the lion's share belonging to Strasburg. Now tomorrow in game three of the series of finale, Jolie Chassin, four and four record, matched up against Joe Ross, 2 0 with a 5.32 earned run average. Padres and Nationals will get you started at 10 a.m. with Padres Live. Last game of the road trip. One out in the eighth, and it brings up Jan Hervis Solarte. Putting day starter for the Padres, Jolie Chassin. Looking for win number five. Road has been a problem for Chassin. Trying mm. to figure that out here tomorrow. Yeah, he's going to have to make an adjustment against this lineup on the road, you bet. Solarte today. Scratted into a fielder's choice, struck out and single. Is trailing three to nothing as they bat here in the eighth with one out. Solarte to left field. Worth will come in a step. And he makes the catch for out number two of the eighth. This copyrighted telecast is presented by the authority of the San Diego Padres or may not be reproduced or retransmitted in any form. And the accounts and descriptions of this game may not be disseminated without the express written consent of the San Diego Padres. No hitter has gone by the boards. Nick Ahmed has broken it up with a base hit, in case you were wondering. Diamondbacks will not be no hit today. Two down in the eighth, and Ryan Schimpf. 0 for 3. Has struck out three times. All that was against Strasburg. Back and out of play. Schimpf down 0 and 2. Ryan Schimpf is going to feel like here we go again. It's been that kind of day. Striking out already three times. He's got to be really short and quick to the baseball now against Albers being down 0 and 2. He's trying to put the ball in play to get aboard. It back and we'll do it again. 0 2. See, Albert's trying to go up and out of the zone there. Seems like that's what most try to do. Struck out Cordoba. Got Solarte to fly out to left field. Now at 0 2 to Schimpf. On the ground, a fair ball handled by Zimmerman. He'll tag the bag and end the top of the eighth inning. Seven and a half done, three nothing Washington.
where I realized it's snowing out. Are we winning? Whoa, we're winning. Everybody who is associated with you is super proud of what you've done. But when you look back at it, you're like, oh, that was kind of reckless. Tuesday on Inside the San Diego Sports, we get a candid and in-depth profile of former Charger All-Pro Center Nick Hardwick. It's Tuesday after Padres Live right here on Fox Sports San Diego. That's on to the bottom of the eighth inning. And more Craig Stammen. Anthony Rendon to lead it off here for the Nats. They have a 3-0 advantage into this bottom of the eighth. Rendon, two for three day. Single and a double. Rendon, Weeters, and Taylor scheduled to bat in the innings five, six, and seven for the Nats. On the corner. Thirty-seven thousand three hundred eighty-seven on hand today. Three seven, three eight seven on a rainy day. On to get off again mm -hmm. here in Washington. Mostly off again though. That's the good part of this. We had some pretty good rain showers early, but <laughs> got that right. Cloud covered though all day. Initial forecast was not good, but uh, improved for the day today. Fortunately, for game two of the series, Star Wars day here at the ballpark. 2 2. That'll miss ball three. Now, amazingly, you, there's uh, Anthony Rendon. You're not a big Star Wars guy, which I'm kind of surprised by. I never got into it. You're like into every movie ever from 1970 through about 1980. I'm not really into the sci fi thing. Okay. Too much out of the box thinking. Well, I'm not going to say it's that. It's just, I don't know. I was never a Trekkie. No. Never got into the Star Trek thing. Never got into the Star Wars thing. I figured you would know every movie reference, every word of Star Wars, but I guess no. that's not the case. No Han Solo. No boats, no nothing. No. Chewbacca even. Big fan of Chewy. 3 2. Nice. Yes, he uh, did. This ball four. And I want to know, first, first of all, where the pitch was and what kind of swing was that? I thought the pitch was a pretty darn good pitch, first of all, and then he swung at it. You see the swing part? I don't think he went. I thought he did. First base, we get things here in the eight first walk. Out by Stammen in his outing. Okay. Brings up Matt Weeders. 0 for 3 today. Switch hitting catcher turns around against the right hander. And he takes strike one. Has fouled out, struck out, and grounded out. Doing all right over there, Bobby I Brady? Am. Okay. <laughs> or Peter? Ball and a strike to Matt Wieters. To the left, and it's one and two. You saw Matt Wieters when he was a youngster, right? Coming up yes. with the Orioles, right? Yep. I mean, Lots of we, we talked about hype with Steven Strasburg, and you know, he's pitched very, very well at the big league level. Yep. Do you think the hype that Matt Wieters was given, do you think his career was just going to be, he was supposed to be like one of the next best catchers ever, wasn't he? Because of his height? Yeah, just, just because of the, the whole thing. Well, I think so. I mean, the fact that he's a switch hitter. Yeah. Very good receiver. Outstanding. Mm -hmm. Throws a lot of guys out, especially earlier in his career. And I mentioned Carl Pitts. There seem to be a lot of comparisons drawn to him because of his size. 
Very good catcher, good hitter. You mentioned three times up over 20 home runs. Want to stay in the area and has. Now a member of the Washington Nationals. Not far for Baltimore. And Camden Yards, perfect for him. Absolutely. Half hard swing goes around and strikes out. Second strikeout for Stammen, one down here in the eighth. It's time now for the Bill Howe play of the game. Nationals are on top one to nothing when Michael Taylor came up in the sixth inning to get his fourth home run of the year. A two run shot gave the Nationals a three nothing lead. That was a good stroke by Michael Taylor. He got to that ball quickly. Ball jumped off his bat. That is the difference in the game as he comes to bat here in the bottom of the eighth. One out one on. Back to first is Rendon. Taylor not only has a home run today, also has a single. And he is grounded out, so two for three for the Nationals center fielder. Strike call. And as Meatloaf said, two out of three ain't bad. Cody Glover getting ready in the pen, the closer for the Nationals. As the Padres scheduled to have Renfro, Spangenberg, and Hedges bat, you do have Will Myers available on the bench today. Runner goes and pitches a strike and no throw. Stolen base for Rendon. He got a huge jump. Really good jump. Even on the slide step, looked like abbreviated kick. From Stammen, no throw. So Rendon into scoring position with one out. Stammen jumping ahead of Taylor here, 0 and 2. Craig is throwing 30 pitches since coming in. Bluffs off the backside, no throw. Three runs, ten hits, two errors for the Nationals. No runs, three hits, and an error for the Padres. Swing and a miss, and Taylor strikes out. Back to back case for Stammen. He's got three in all, two down here in the eighth. Let's revisit our keys to the game. Brought to you by your San Diego Honda dealers. Well, our first one was stress Strasburg early. First inning, there was a base hit. There was an error, but he got out of it by striking out Hedges. Early outs for Richard. Six innings, ten hits, 113 pitches for the Padre left-hander. And after that first inning, down, I tell you what, Strasburg was just mowing him down. Two down, Rondon at second, and Wilmer Defoe. Defoe has grounded out three times. All that was against Clayton Richard. The pitcher spot is on deck right now for the Nationals, and Adam Lind has come out on deck. Fly ball to left field, playable for Cordoba, moves over towards the line and under, and he makes the catch that ends the inning. So it's on to the ninth inning. Padres have work to do, trailing three to nothing.
strikeouts in seven shutout innings. Three hits, one walk. Pitcher of record right now came into this game with a record of five and one, and he dazzled all day. Just when you think that he may have run into some trouble, he made a pitch here, he made a pitch there to get out of it. And uh, he kept the velocity. He was throwing three of his pitches, in fact, act four. The fastball we know of, he threw the curveball consistently, he mixed in some sliders and some changeups as well for a successful afternoon. He had 15 strikeouts by Strasburg. You had Scherzer with 13 last night. Fifth pair of pitchers to strike out 13 plus hitters in back to back games since 1913. So it's been a while. Oh. Wow. Ninth inning. Dakota Glover on to try to finish it off here for the Nationals. Well, we saw him last night, speaking of Max Scherzer, to get one third of an inning. It was a strikeout to Austin Hedges. Four out of five in save opportunities, and it's strike one to Hunter Renfro. Strike two. Picking up that outside corner. Spangenberg Hedges scheduled to bat here in the top of the ninth inning. Matt Albers worked the eighth at a one, two, three inning strikeout, fly out, ground out. Renfro stays alive. Lover's a big kid. 6'5. Only his third year as a pro. That's the second member of the 2015 first year player draft to make it to Major League Baseball. His debut last year. Rounded back at him. He will field and throw for out number one of the ninth inning. One out and Corey Spangenberg coming up. Walk in the first, uh, strikeout in the fourth, uh, strikeout in the sixth. With Albers getting a strikeout, it means 16 Padres have struck out today. Strike one. Hardest ball that Glover has thrown at 97 miles an hour right there. Speaking of strikeouts, remember that game Roger Clemens struck out 20? Mm -hmm. Back with the Red Sox back in the day. He's done it twice. Yes, the first time at Fenway against the Mariners. Yep. My good buddy and teammate Bruce Hurst was charting that game. He told me that he also had three other guys with two strikes, but they put the ball in play. Wow. So he had a chance to pause 23 <laughs> strikeouts. Max is tired. It was a long night last night. This is a ground ball right side. Defoe on to first. Two down in the ninth. Andres down to their last out. Austin Hedges coming up. Aspire at the helm here, the acting manager, and out away. 7,357 come to their feet in Washington as Hedges digs in. Strike one. Lee Buckler. 0 for 3 day for the Padres catcher. A couple of strikeouts and a pop out. Did he go? Yes, he did, says Dan Bellino, first base umpire. 
0 oh 2. Yeah, he went. Two down on the ninth and an 0 oh 2 pitch. That is a ball game. 17th strikeout for Nationals pitching in this game. A 1 2 3 ninth for Dakota Glover. Who picks up the save? Steven Strasburg, the story. Seven shutout innings, 15 Ks. And the Padres drop the middle game of this three game series. Mike Pomeranz, what's in store?